everybody. Hope you're doing well. We're continuing to look through this journey that Jesus is on in the Gospel of Matthew. And keep in mind, a lot of the stories in Matthew or other Gospels are echoed in Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. And this is one of them. So when you go to other books in the Gospels, you might get a different aspect or maybe a little more complete version of this story. Uh, but we want to look at how Matthew told the story. And one point that I, I hope that we could take away from the story. I mean, don't you love it when you get some type of affirmation, some type of praise? Uh, it could be somebody going out of their way to just compliment you. Or it could be some type of award, right? Maybe you win a special award. I mean, recently, um, my kids both have won special awards, special recognitions. And my proud meter just goes up, right? Like I just go, oh, wow. And it's not saying that they're better than others or others aren't as good, right? But there's there's something about getting special recognition that you work hard for or that, that, that someone who looks at you wants to push forward, wants to highlight and say, this is a quality that we want. And we see this in you. That's why we're recognizing you for this honor, right? Or for this recognition. And I hope you've had things like that happen to you. If you haven't, just begin to picture, what if you did? What would that mean to you? How would it feel? What would be the things you'd want to be recognized for? And then probably a more important question is, what are things that God would recognize people for? And are those things, things in our lives that we are striving for? Let me read out of Matthew chapter 9. This is actually a smaller story that takes place in a bigger story. So it's a story within a story. Jesus is called upon uh, one of the rulers of the synagogue whose um, daughter has some health issues and had just died. Right? And, and so Jesus is going to try to help their family and help this little girl. But in the midst of him going, something happens. There's a crowd um, crowding around him because of all the miracles that he's beginning to do and they're beginning to notice and they're beginning to pay attention and people want to see and they want to know and they want to touch him. And so as he's walking, there's this crowd following after him. And let me read starting in verse 19 of Matthew chapter 9. So Jesus and his disciples got up and went with him, with the uh, synagogue leader. Just then, a woman who had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding came up to him from behind. She touched the fringe of his robe, so just the edge of his robe, because she thought, if I could just touch his robe, I will be healed. Now, some some uh, other stories uh, say that Jesus actually felt power go out of him. And then in verse 22, it says, Jesus turned around, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be encouraged. Your faith has made you well. And the woman was healed in that moment. And then Jesus goes on. So we have this really cool little story happen. Uh, and, and we probably can't identify with all of the ways that this woman was suffering. Our 12 years was a long time. Uh, the bleeding would not have just been potentially embarrassing or, or discomforting um, or just a pain, but actually would cause her to be ceremonially unclean. So she couldn't even go to the temple. Right? She couldn't even have access to God in the way that they worshipped or approached God back then. Not that it was necessarily right, but she would have been ceremonially unclean. She would have been unclean as well to make other people unclean if they touched her. So technically, if she's bouncing through this crowd trying to get up to Jesus, she's making people unclean as well, right? So people would stay away from her. They would avoid her. So just imagine 12 years of people avoiding you, uh, of parents looking at their children saying, stay away from her, right? And, and not being able to go to the temple and just all of these things. This is what's wrapped up in that word of suffering. It's not just the physical things that's going on. It's the emotional things as well. And she didn't even feel brave to come up and talk to him. She just reached out for that edge of his robe. Jesus felt the power go out of him. She was healed. What's interesting that I hope we could think about is it could have been that Jesus knew what happened and she knew what happened and that was good enough and Jesus just kept on walking. But in that moment, Jesus stopped and acknowledged her. Jesus stopped and saw her. Jesus stopped and he highlighted what she had done because of the reason why she did it. Jesus said to her, your faith has made you well. Jesus looked down 
and wanted the whole crowd to know that something had just happened. He could have gone on and kept going like nothing had happened. And it could have been their little secret, right? And she could have just been healed and, and come out and, and talked about it later. But Jesus wanted everybody to know, right? Everybody in the crowd that would have probably avoided her if they knew that she had this bleeding problem or maybe knew who she was and was trying to stay away from her. Everybody that had avoided her, everybody that had told their children stay away from her, everybody that had turned her away from the temple because she was not clean. All of these people, Jesus wanted to stop and say, who touched me? And she said, it's me. And everybody's probably assuming, like you would be assuming, she's in trouble now, right? Like, uh-oh. And Jesus said, you got faith. And he elevated her elevated her higher than anybody else in the crowd. Nobody else in the crowd was was talked about in this way. He didn't acknowledge the faith of anybody in this crowd except somebody who had been isolated and unclean for more than a decade. And her faith made her well. And she was healed in that moment. Because we read in Hebrews chapter 11, faith pleases God. That's what make God, makes God happy. So in life, I hope as you journey, you will look down and see that the, the people God wants to acknowledge are people who walk by faith, people who use faith, people who are people of faith. If you don't know what to do in life and you've got a crossroads that you're looking at and you've got multiple decisions that you're trying to decide about, ask yourself which one would take the most faith and just go down that road. Because we know from God's word that faith pleases God. And we know in this moment that faith pleased Jesus, pleased him enough to stop and let everybody in the crowd know this woman who you have shunned for more than a decade is the example of faith I want you to see now. Because of her faith, she was made well. She was elevated. She was acknowledged and she was seen by God. And God wanted everybody else to see her and her faith as well. I hope as you go throughout this week, you could wrestle with this lady's story and how faith caused God to stop and pay attention and acknowledge a woman in front of a whole crowd of people, none of which showed as much faith as her. God bless.